Hey there, Concierge Joanna, and today's bit is on motivation versus mired. We've all got way too much on our plates, and every now and then you find yourself frozen saying, oh my god, am I going to get motivated to get done what I need to get done today? So, there's a great piece of music that everybody's familiar with. It's, when I don't know what I'm doing here tonight, I got the feeling that something ain't right. I'm so scared, I think I'll fall off my chair, and I'm wondering how I'll get down the stairs. Clowns to the left of me, jokers to the right, here I am, stuck in the middle with you. And that basically sums it up. Whether you're motivated or mired or stuck somewhere in the middle, there are lots of little tips that can push you uh, out of the rut. So the first thing that I would suggest is being honest about who you are. Are you an early bird or are you a night owl? I know that I do my best work between 6 a.m. and 9 a.m. And after that, I will stick to following up on projects rather than initiating projects because my biorhythms and my energies change during the day. So figure out if you're an early bird or a night owl and schedule your most important tasks during that time period that you know you're going to be the most productive. It will give you many more accomplishments with a lot less effort because you'll be working with your natural rhythms. The next thing is not new under the sun. Um, everybody talks about it, but most people really don't follow up on it. Make lists. They really do work, provided they're not vague and open-ended, like make more money this year or pick up 10 new clients. It's got to be time-sensitive, time-specific, and realistic. So if you say get one proposal done this afternoon for AT&T, that's a realistic goal, and that's something you can get done in an afternoon and check off on your list. Uh, the next point, I think, would be don't compartmentalize. We all have a tendency to try and farm things off or out. So instead of hiring a dog walker, I take a 90-minute break when I've been at my desk too long, and I walk my own dog. It saves me money. It keeps me in shape. It makes my puppy very happy. And I basically come back refreshed and feeling great and ready to tackle more so that I stay motivated and not my because if you sit too long and you try too hard to think about something, you will eventually just get stuck in the mire because it's too much. And then finally, do make an end to your day, a finalized end to your day that you stick to. And whether you use music to help you do that or color to help you do that, and I'll be doing another piece on that soon on color magic, um, find a point in the day where you know you can say, okay, I'm going to power down. I'm going to turn this off. I've accomplished what I need to. And to help you do that, recap the day. When you recap your day and you see how many things you have accomplished because you had realistic expectations, it's tremendously satisfying and it enables you to shut down and turn off and go have a glass of wine and enjoy your family and friends. So they are the tips that I think would be the best for you. This is Concierge Johanna. If you've got some ideas that you'd like to tackle and even better yet, a song that you'd like to go with it, please get in touch. It's www concierjoanna.com and thank you so much for stopping by.